hello beautiful family welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us what you can do to suffocate your enemies to make them run far away from you have you seen where your enemies are uncomfortable they cannot even look at your face they will not look for a way to leave that environment because the environment will be too hot too hot for them especially the ones that refuse to repent the ones that refuse to leave witchcraft alone by the time you do this they will feel that you are not the as in the hod or you now have your own coven because it's going to be too hot for them that their coven all their powers in their coven will disappoint them all their charms will disappoint them all their evil projections will disappoint them it will return back to them as they ascending i am a living witness of that which i have shared on the channel this one they are eight all of them they were eight that planned to kill me just out of envy just because they feel that my business is moving more than their own we are not selling the same thing i'm selling spiritual item and you're selling a different thing and that time i do physical consultation in my shop so the, the way people were trooping in and out of my shop they were thinking that all those people coming there were coming to buy things and they started planning how to eliminate me without knowing that god the god i serve is stronger than them and one of them happens to be somebody that she's from my place they married her in my place so we relate very well i never knew that she was the middleman between all of all of us but when god visited all of them it was so so hard on them so by the time you do this all of them that said they don't want to see you again they don't want to see you shine you can see the one i'm shining they will run away they will get blind hmm? if they don't repent god will prepare them god will flood them koboku spiritual koboku spiritual king that is what this recipe i want to share with you now will do to all the unrepentant fellow what is that thing you need to do you need to get your lemon this is my lemon okay another thing you need to get is your lime your lime then you are going to get water water your tap water stream water rain water any kind of water that is natural do not use processed water fetch water from the tap from the rain or from the stream or river so these are the three waters you can use or well water if you live in a place that they have well water you can use it do not use bottle water do not use such water any other water natural water you are good to go so let us take the bull by the horn he that says that you will not rest i solution empire said that i will give you an assignment that you cannot finish until you die the assignment will be too heavy that all the professors in this world cannot solve it that is the kind of assignment I give my enemies if you have decided to make yourself my enemy. I'll give you an exam that you cannot write and pass. No professor can solve that assignment for you. So what is that thing you need to do? Get your lime, your lemon, your water. Squeeze out the water from the lemon. Squeeze out the water from the lime. Add it to your bucket of water. Either your rain water your stream water, your tap water, use buckets. If it's warm water you want to use, if it's cold water, any water that you know you can use to take your baths, squeeze out this water inside it, then add salt, salt, any kind of salt. Add half tablespoon of salt or one teaspoon of salt inside a bucket of water, then pray. That whoever that wants to see you dead, whoever that, that have declared his or herself your enemy, whoever that has sworn with his or her filthy life, that you will never amount to anything, that you will never live to enjoy 
what God has given to you, that you will never lead to succeed, that that your business will never work, that your business will never prosper. May that person will never prosper. May whatever he or she lays his hand on not prosper. Please sorry for that. Uh, our life was just cut off. So now, pray like never before. This is a back to sender recipe. This is a protection recipe. This is a recipe you can use to disarm those wicked people in your life. Those people that don't want to see you glitter. Those people that when you buy a new clothing to paint them, when you make a new hair to paint them, when you buy a new car to paint them, even when you're suffering and smiling, it is paining them. It will prepare them, it will keep paining them. God will keep blessing you. God will keep providing for you. God will keep changing your story until they repent or they buy. Let me use a Nigeria language. Until they leave this planet. If they feel that you should leave the planet before them, they have to leave. That is my own. In as much as I don't like my enemies to die, but if you want me to leave the planet before you, it's a lie. You will leave before me and I will go for your burial with my cooler and eat enough rice. The way I will eat that, they will think I cannot afford rice in my place. So after doing this, bath with it. Say every arrows of the enemies, every evil projections of my enemies, Father, I return it back to them. I don't want to know who they are. The ones that have shown themselves, because some of them who have declared themselves your enemy, you know them. That God should flood their spiritual king until they run away from that vicinity, until they repent, or until they perish. Then the ones that have hidden, hidden themselves, calling themselves your friend, calling themselves your sister or your brother or your in-law, that God should expose them. Because that was how God exposed that woman. She was the first person I saw in my dream. And in that dream, I confronted her. The following day, I called her on the phone that I want to see her in my house. When she came, she was shivering. I told her that God has shown me and everything. But I am pitting for you because I am going to deal with you without turning back. She said she did not do anything. By the time the thing started hitting on her, she was the first person that the thing called because other people are spiritually strong. She's just an ufeke. They use her to come and get me. By the time the thing strike her, oh God, it was too much that her husband, people that knows her and that knows me started coming to beg on her behalf. I told her I am not the one that did it. It's God. So she, I, she should go and ask God for forgiveness and confess. So this is the way your enemies will come and confess by the time this thing will hit on them. So do this assignment for three nights. You do it only at night. For three nights. And by the grace of God, all the evil projections against you is start back to sender. So try this assignment and make sure you share your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.